Hello, Chris here. In this video, I'm going to show you a very quick casual tour of the Gnosis Safe. Um, if you've never heard of the Gnosis Safe, it is basically just like a shared wallet that you can use that different communities um, in Ethereum can use to store anything from Ethereum to an ERC-20, like a different uh, ETH-based token or NFTs, all that kind of stuff. You could store it. Um, what you get essentially, if I were to open up the app here, if you open up the app and it I already have an account set up. Uh, what you get, like the end goal of this is essentially just this, um, this shared wallet address. If I were to copy this and paste this here, just basically a wallet address um, that you can send things to, like I said, Ethereum or NFTs, and then you can share them here. So you might be wondering, um, cool, but how is that any different than MetaMask? Well, the main differentiator with the Gnosis Safe is that this wallet address is owned by multiple people, right? And so we're gonna go a little bit into that, and then in this video, I'll also show you how to create one from scratch just quickly. Okay, so who are those multiple people that own this address? Um, well, actually, it's pretty straightforward. Just come to settings here and owners, and we will see there are three people, me and two other wallets, that have access to this. And so in order for this wallet to send money, I have woo, $10 here. If I want to send out this $10, um, I would need two of the three wallet addresses to approve that money to be sent out. Why do I know it's two out of three? That's because in policies here, I have that set as two out of three. Okay. And these are things that you set when you create the wallet originally. And we'll look at that in a little bit. Um, and also I could edit it, but any edit to something like this would also require two out of three people to approve any edit. So it's a big collaboration going on here. Okay. So, um, so that's pretty much all that you really kind of need to know. Um, once we have it all set up, like I do, then we send transactions, we can send funds, which is basically a token or a fungible token like Ethereum or a collectible, which is gonna be a non-fungible token like an NFT. And we can put in our recipient. Um, ooh, I don't know if I have a recipient. Can I send it to myself? <laughs> uh, oh, it looks like I have some past recipients. Actually, that's actually what I think is in this address book here, just people I've sent things to in the past. So I think I have this count four that I could try to send something to. So let's put count four in there. It's like the NASA, I have some ether. And if I wanted to just send a little bit of that. Okay, so I am one person, me, sending, proposing to send this money to this account. And if I review it, um, I can submit. And I will have to go to MetaMask and sign that. Okay, there we go. And now the transaction has been um, put in the queue. Okay, so now that it's in the queue, I just need one of the other two people on this account to come in and approve that. Um, if I go back to my owners, this is just for me to see. Um, I have two other owners. I have wallet two. So these are all <laughs> surprise. They're all me <laughs> just testing it out. But uh, if I move to account two, boom, on rank B, yep. Now when I come to transactions in my queue, let's see, you can see this one needs your confirmation. So if if that's not clear, I just switched owners. So I'm a completely different person now because Meta Mask allows you to have two or multiple owners or wallets in one address. So now I come in here and the second person sees it and I can either confirm it or reject it. Once I confirm it, um, if I confirmed it and we were on the main net, I would have to pay gas for the final person pays, uh, or I could just reject it like that. And you get to see a history of all the activity here. So that's it. That's basically how um, that's basically how the Gnosis Safe works. Um, in the rest of the video, if you want to know a little bit more, um, I'll just add a little bit more on how to create a safe. But essentially, you've already learned what it is and how it works. All this other stuff is really just some extra extra features that like you know are just kind of extra i don't know that they're super important to the main core interaction 
Um, so a few things to point out too um, is that I'm on the test net, which is nice. So Rinkby is the test net. And in order to get this, you know, if you did want to play with this, you could set up, because um, we're going to go to setup now. If I wanted to set up a new wallet, you can see when we come to the setup page, which I believe is just, if I click here, I could do add safe, right? So if I were to do add safe there, it brings me to this page and I can create a safe from scratch or I could load an existing safe if I had um, a different safe from a different computer or something like that I wanted to pull on here. But let's say you want to create a new safe. Um, as I was saying, you know, you can do this yourself because if you're on the Rinkby network, you can do that. And um, you just get this, this account here and you can send yourself some fake ETH basically. <laughs> so this is fake ETH, it's not real, um, that you can get sent to you from the Rinkby test network. You just send it to your address and then you can play with some stuff, which is pretty sweet. So, um, oh, it looks like I've already been creating. Yeah, so da, 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 da. make sure I'm on Rinkby. Continue, okay. Yeah, so the process for creating a new save from scratch is pretty easy. Um, happy class, I don't know, whatever. Continue, it's the name of my safe. Um, wallet addresses, so first I might have my wallet. I can add multiple wallet addresses if I want and say one out of two or nine out of 10, it's really up to you. For now, I'll just keep it simple. Oh, boop, okay. And then finally, create, and that's really it. So there's not much to it. All right, yeah, so uh, so in this video, I showed you what Gnosis Safe is, I showed you how to create a new one, I showed you that I'm on Rinkby, uh, all of the same stuff goes, you know, if you have multiple, multiple safes, if I were to log into mainnet, you'd see my mainnet Gnosis Safes pop up here as well. And um, yeah, you can play around with it and uh, invite friends and give it a try. Oh, one quick thing, if you want some fake ETH for your testnet, uh, you can come to this site here at Chainlink, Faucet, or just, just Google like Rinkby Faucet, and it will bring you to a site like this where you can put in your wallet address. So I basically am just putting in my, my wallet address here, like that, and then network, I can get the Faucet or fake ETH for all of these, um, and then 10 test link. So it'll send me some link some chain link and some Ethereum. And I am trying to show the world I am not a robot. Looks like I succeeded. And if all goes well, I will get some fake ETH.